you, you have to find like the niche and you have to find the problem and then you have to offer a solution to that problem. Nobody is going to pay a thousand dollars, let alone five thousand dollars for an academic writing course. That's a load of nonsense because like they can get an academic writing course for free at the university right nobody's gonna pay you for sorting out their grammar or helping them write a better paragraph that's well they might pay you like ten dollars an hour right and that was my problem I, yeah i was just like another academic writing course which there are thousands on coursera for like nine bucks so that's a problem like you've got to find like a specific problem that people have and offer a specific solution to them. this video is going to be a little bit different if you've ever wondered how i started my business academic english now if you want a little bit about the backstory of academic english now my backstory as a business owner then in this interview with scott fail who runs a podcast for business owners who are researchers and in the academia we dive deeper into that and i talk about my own experience of starting a business trying to grow a business failing numerous times and getting up and continuing and finally kind of figuring it out and to where the business is right now and what are the, the other challenges in the future for the business. So this is going to be really useful. Number one, if you've been interested you know, in Academic English Now, how it all came about, why it's a company and why it's here. And number two, if you've, you're in research, you're in academia and you've been thinking about starting your own business, then there are lots of useful golden nuggets here from my own experience, how I've succeeded starting a business. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the Professors of Profit vlogcast. I'm your host, Dr. F. Scott Field, and I've got with me today a special guest, Dr. Marek Kichkoviak. Not too bad, right? Pretty close? Pretty close. Yeah, All pretty right. good one. Well, Marek, uh, you are the CEO of Academic English Now. What kind of advice would you give to somebody just getting started or just getting the ball rolling on, on their own business in, in some sort of academic coaching? Uh, please don't. I don't want any competition. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, no, I mean, the, it doesn't really matter what niche you're in or what like, is it academic coaching or any other kind of business? Like, I think like there's lots of lessons that i learned from some ovens but like the biggest one for me that like completely changed everything was that you have to find like the niche and you have to find the problem and then you have to offer a solution to that problem nobody is going to pay a thousand dollars let alone five thousand dollars for an academic writing course that's a load of nonsense because like they can get an academic writing course for free at the university right nobody's gonna pay you for sorting out their grammar or helping them write a better paragraph that's well they might pay you like ten dollars an hour right and that was my problem i yeah i was just like another academic writing course which there are thousands on coursera for like nine bucks so that's a problem like you've got to find like a specific problem that people have and offer a specific solution to that it's really kind of that simple there is no more to it you know there's obviously lots of steps that you need to take to find that problem and then you refine it over the years so i i went from like you know sort of like helping people maybe write a thesis or a paper to now like you know our proposition is like for one of our programs is that we'll help you to publish three or more papers in Scopus Index journals in the next 12 months that's a very specific proposition that's targeting a specific segment of the market not everybody wants that but if you want that then well who, who are you going to look for well you're going to look for me because that's what i offer whereas there's like you know for example one of our competitors that i know they're specifically working just on dissertations that's the only thing that they do so like if you want help with a dissertation specifically that might be a better choice for you right so you might be thinking well but but then marek you're like you're losing clients yes but like you're winning so many more clients and you're charging a premium because you're solving a very specific, very painful problem for them because you can't solve all the problems for them, right? You can solve one specific problem. So the analogy is kind of like, you know, if you think about doctors, you know, if you go to a general practitioner, how much is a general practitioner gonna, gonna charge you? Like in Costa Rica where I live, they would charge you maybe like, you know, 50 bucks, right? If you go to a neurosurgeon, to have a surgery on your brain they'll charge you not 40 bucks but more likely like 4000 or 40000 bucks you know and then they don't care about all these other like kind of 
specialties they, they've got their specialty you know so you become like the go-to expert so i think just figure out like who you're serving who that person is specifically and it's got to be very specific you've got to know them better than they know themselves really like you know i could paint the picture of like my ideal client avatar probably better than than they can themselves in a way you know predicting the problems goals and stuff like this and then you want to know like well, what problems do they have and then pick the most painful problem and the one that brings the biggest rewards as well for them and then offer a solution to that problem so to give you examples like if you wanted to go here like you could be helping phd students or, or, or postdocs with careers for example you know a lot of people ask me about that like well how can i get a better job but well i don't know I, I honestly don't know. That's not something that I do. Like a lot of people ask me, well, how can I apply for a PhD? I, I don't know. Well, I, I kind of do, but I don't help with that. And people have asked me, well, why don't you set up a course on that? It's like, well, because I would be diluting my message. Because for every message that you have, you need a new marketing campaign. You need a new proposition. And the more messages you have, the more diluted it becomes. Think about like the best, biggest brands in the world. Like think about Apple. Their message is very simple. It's basically simplicity. You know, that's what they're selling. They're like simple, beautiful user experience, you know. And it was when Apple cut down the products that they had, you know, when like they initially fired Steve Jobs. All of a sudden they started developing like a million different types of computers you know and they almost went bankrupt and then they hired steve jobs again and the first thing that steve jobs did he was like you know we we've got like 25 types of computers what we're gonna do now is we're gonna have two types of computers we're gonna have a, a personal computer and we're gonna have a business computer and that's it <laughs> right and when you go to apple's store what what, do, what 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 choice do you have well you can you can either buy a macbook air a thin one or you can buy a MacBook Pro, which is like kind of more kind of robust and everything. And that's it. Go to like, I don't know, bloody Lenovo or any other computer website, like, and you will get so confused. You'll spend a week trying to figure out kind of like what model to choose, you know? So really it is like simplicity, uh, I think, in a sense. Yeah. Um, sorry if I went on a ramble, but- No, I no, I love that. I mean, that's a great, a great takeaway because it really hones in on the idea that it, it is about specificity niching down and really finding your avatar and then solving their problem, you know, or one yeah. specific problem yeah. and solving it well, right? You know, like doing it well. Uh, that That's how you get customers and that's how you keep them rolling in. Uh, Absolutely. Well, Merrick, I, I appreciate your time, man, for coming on to talk about uh, all this stuff. And let's say somebody needed help with a thesis or a dissertation or academic writing in general and getting published. Uh, where can they reach out to you? Where can they find more about you and learn more about Academic English Now? Sure, you can you can go to our website academicenglishnow.com and and check out you know what we what we offer there and and see if that resonates with you or you know you can also check out my YouTube channel Academic English Now where I share a lot of content yeah and see if that's that's valuable. Awesome. Well, we'll drop those links in the show notes so it's easier for everyone to find you. Eric, thank you so much for your time, man. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you. Thanks for inviting me. If you want to work with me personally to help you to finish your PhD, write an excellent thesis, publish research papers in top journals, then schedule a free one-to-one -one consultation with my team. We're going to look at the biggest challenges that you have right now, the goals that you want to achieve, and then see how we can work together to help you to achieve your goals faster and with less effort. And the link to that free consultation is right below the video.